Welcome to the Skyhawk Arena as the 0-2 UT Martin Skyhawks face off against the 2-3 Belmont Bruins. Belmont University's basketball team makes the three-hour trip west to our campus to face us in our home opener. As we try to rebound from our very disappointing preseason tournament as we dropped both games that we participated in. Our leading scorer Shaquille Hammond averaging 11.5 a game but that really does not do justice to how poor he played and as a team how poor we played this Bruins team has a roster full of shooters so we will definitely have to guard the perimeter and make that a focal point and a big storyline coming in this one as you see in the bottom right Floyd Zubek the Serbian gets his first collegiate start here as a Skyhawk and he also wins the tip off to begin this one as our Skyhawks and D. Cartwright set up the offense. Cartwright averaging 7 points per game coming into this one as he gives it to Hammond who dishes it in Zubek right back to Hammond who gets fouled to begin this one. Hammond going to try to have a short memory after the performance he put up in the preseason tournament as he collects the ball. Two dribbles. Puts his first free throw up at the game and that is good. Free throw good Hammond. The six foot nine senior. Averaging 11 and a half a game with four rebounds, two and a half assists as he goes two for two for the line. Here comes Clint Singleton, who drives baseline. D. Cartwright cannot draw the charge quick enough as Singleton gets on the board and gets his Bruins on the board as well. 2 2 game here early on in the first. As David Jow comes off a screen, he's wide open. And he hits that from 17 feet. Cartwright with his first assist of the game. Now D. Cartwright, sizing up his man, hits the flashing David Giles, wide open from mid-range as he got in between the zone and was wide open. 6-4 game as Cedric Greenville, the shooting guard, trying to go ISO on Joey Ballard, but gets blocked and now recovering was Vince Pichel, who also gets blocked by Floyd Zubek. That was one of the reasons Coach Carter benched uh, A.J. Sullivan as a... Uh, Rim, rim protecting is not exactly in his game as Shaquille Hammond turns it over and this is just a bad turn of events as after those two blocks you really wanted to see UT Martin capitalize on it but instead they give the ball right back and it's a tie game. Kick to the corner, Cartwright to Hammond who pump fakes, drives past Wainwright, draws the foul on Vince Pichel and that is going to be an and one for our star player. More free throws here early for Shaquille Hammond. Inside, Clint Singleton to the cutting Anderson Hilliard as that is his first basket of the game. Here is Clint Singleton showing that he can do everything, not just shoot. Inside to Zubek. UT Martin trying to find some space as Cartwright jabs but cannot convert the jump shot after creating some room. As here comes the Belmont Bruins as that is Cedric Greenville hitting a contested jump shot on the fast break. Nodding the game up at 10. Reversing the ball around in the perimeter are the Skyhawks. D. Cartwright, a nice look inside as he saw that Zubek had positioning on the inside. As that's three quick assists for Cartwright. And now a steal for him as well as he tries to pull up but cannot finish. But Shaquille Hammond does get the rebound as another three-point attempt. This time it's short from Joey Ballard. We cannot fall in love with the three-point shot this game after our performance in the preseason tournament. Now here is Hammond who converts that mid-range jump shot. A very solid start for him as he already has six points and a timeout from the Belmont Bruins. Clint Singleton left wide open as that cuts the lead from four to one on one basket. Clint Singleton was seven points here early. Off a of screen, that is Marquis Saunders. Cannot finish. Vince Bichelle with the rebound and it's a two on two as Singleton dishes it inside to Ulrich Knight, another sharpshooter, but shows that he does have some finishing ability as well. Working it around, Clint Singleton, good closeout by AJ Sullivan, but once again, whenever Sullivan's on the floor, it just seems like a, just seems like we can never get any rebounds. But you can't blame that one on him; he had to contest. Hammond turns around. Nice post hook for him, and another timeout by these Belmont Bruins as they hold a one-point lead. 
Here is Cedric Greenville trying to slash. Gives it up to Melvin Wainwright, the leading scorer for these Bruins. Two assists early for Greenville as he hits the contested jump shot. Gene Schofield got a jade right there. He's definitely going to have to have a short memory as a beautiful pass from Dwight Eastings. That goes full court and that he does. He does have a short memory as he completes the basket right there, getting those points right back. Schofield got the rebound, kicks it up to Marcus Saunders who tries to drive on Ulrich Knight as he recovers nicely after the crossover as he's also running the break, but Knight gets rejected. Davion Baez off the bench as he gets his first rejection of the season. Now, the E.T. Martin Skyhawks reset the offense. Entry pass into A.J. Sullivan. Gives it out to Dwight Easley with the open jump shot but cannot hit. That's off the front rim. Now, the Bruins will try to attack again. Org Knight from way downtown cannot finish. The triple was unsuccessful as here comes U.T. Martin right back. Davion Baez tries to drive. Kicks it back to Dwight Easley. Inside the Gene Schofield who jabs, fakes, now goes back to the basket, tries the drop step, does not work. Davion Baez open for three though, but that does not go. Tip in, unsuccessful A.J. Sullivan. Really wish he, we saw that one go in. As there's a block this time from the point guard, the backup freshman point guard, Dwight Easley. Making good on his opportunities so far early in the season. He's been very impressive. As Marcus Saunders trying to go... One on one against Vince Pichel, the center as he does, converts the layup as he saw the mismatch. Good IQ shown there by Dwight Easley giving him the ball and letting him go to work. Keontae Grant, the point guard for the Belmont Bruins as he tries to isolate and does. Successful little layup, nice job using his body to score and create space. Marcus Saunders on the outside, spins, crosses and a Cutting Gene Schofield as he converts again. A nice pass from Saunders. And that's a steal. This time Baez getting the steal for the full court press. 22-21 here as the first quarter starting to wind down. First half, excuse me. And that is a beautiful layup. That is Clint Singleton now with nine points. As in double coverage, he somehow maneuvers his way around both Davion Baez and A.J. Sullivan, who was coming over for the weak side block now. Marcus Saunders slashing again. That's a big, uh, a big stick to his game right there as he converts another layup. Keontae Grant left wing. Now Raphael Flowers with the ball dishes it in to Anderson Hilliard with another basket. A beautiful pass from Raphael Flowers, the backup point guard who is playing hurt this game. He rolled his ankle in the opening game of the year. AJ Sullivan on the outside gets his pocket picked as there's another fast break basket for the Belmont Bruins as their lead increases to four here with a minute left in the first. Wayne Wright back out to Keontae Grant. There is Clint Singleton. Just a little bit of space given up and Singleton still makes good on his opportunity. Singleton seeming to have a, a breakout game as he's only averaging, averaging nine points on the year as he already has surpassed that with that three. But the Skyhawks trying to run the floor, trying to get a basket before the half ends. And Gene Schofield with a beautiful floater right there, heavily contested. He does seem to get it off before the buzzer sounds as the UT Martin Skyhawks will cut the lead to five points going into the halftime. We definitely need to tighten our defense up on the perimeter, but other than that, Doing a very solid job competing with these guys. Welcome back to our Tennessee Martin Skyhawks as we are keeping pace with the Belmont Bruins despite the very hot shooting start from Clint Singleton. Right now our leading scorer is Shaquille Hammond with 8 points at the half. He also has contributed a steal and a rebound as well. Floyd Zubek so far a very solid 2 of 2 from the field as he hasn't had a lot of touches on offense but in his first college start, he's been very, uh, very efficient. That's all we really need from him now. The second half gets underway. Keontae Grant surveys the floor. Closely guarded by D. Cartwright, but a beautiful dish inside as Clint Singleton picks up right where he left off. Now he has 14 points. Shaquille Hammond making his first free throw. That one's off to the left, but Floyd Zubek off the offensive glass. You don't see that too often. Him crawling a miss off of a free throw attempt as he'll go to the line and try to make good on his free throw opportunities. 
First one's up. And that one swishes through. Now here's Grant, who dishes it inside to Wainwright. He cannot finish, but a nice little tip in from Pichel. I gotta love that hustle right there on the glass. Wainwright receives a screen. And not a good shot there. It seems like our shot selection quality is depleting as this game goes on, but that is corralled by Floyd Zubek with another offensive rebound. He's been very impressive in his first collegiate start. Grant, from one elbow to the other, that is an assist from Grant as he has five already. Wainwright with a big guy on him, gets a screen from Zubek. Shaquille Hammond popping out, and that's good. Hammond now in double figures as he's attempted 1-3 and made 1-3. And that's a steal. Hammond now. David Giles maybe shooting. Maybe another basket from Hammond. No, they'll pull it out. Very smart idea. Another screen for Giles. This time he's not open off the screen, but he tries to drive. Gives it over to Hammond on the low block. Up to Zubek. Back to Hammond, who is backing down. Wainwright. A pump fake, and that's good. Single-handedly, Hammond has brought our Skyhawks back in the game as Belmont calls timeout. Long three, no good. Zubek with another rebound. That's five for him on the game as Cartwright tries to dish it into a cutting ham and really not a smart play right there as Singleton gives it up. But Ulrich Knight gives it right back and that's a good jump shot from Clint Singleton. Singleton driving again in traffic once again finishing. Very impressed by his efforts so far as he's trying to create some room from the Skyhawks. Zubek trying to drive on his own. That is not a smart play at all as here comes the Belmont Bruins trying to create some breathing room as they do as they increase the lead to seven off the fast break layup. Easily. Skyhawks trying to break the press as they've done a pretty solid job of that so far today as Saunders gets trapped on the baseline. Kicks it out to Giles who's just a little bit outside his range. Inside to Sullivan as that's good. For Sullivan's first basket of the game. Sullivan steps up. Drayton finds Wayne right off of a deflection and the ball reversal goes back to Drayton and he makes good on a three. Remember how I said these guys got shooters all the way down the bench? Well Drayton's a prime example of that. Screen from Easley inside a pick and roll and a nice extra pass from AJ Sullivan as that's a very unselfish play finding the reliable Giles on the baseline. Easily pressuring Grant as he forces him into a mistake. Easily at the head of the break. Gives it to Saunders in the corner. Another isolation try for Saunders as he has another big guy on him. Cannot finish but does corral the miss. As that is a beautiful dish off the offensive rebound. Saunders with a very smart and unselfish play. Finding Gene Schofield as there was a defensive miscommunication there off the rebound. Giles pump fakes, drives left, and that is a foul on Anderson Hilliard. The Skyhawks are right back in this game as free throws will tie it as Giles makes the first one. Second one's up and good as well. Easily. Back to Giles as he's left wide open. Another three-pointer for Giles as his, his scoring totals have exploded here in the second half as Beaumont gets the ball up court and calls another timeout. Vince Pichel inside to Kai Drayton as he gets his second basket of the game. Nice little look there from Vince Pichel. Drayton only averaging three points per game as Vince Pichel with a rebound. Running the floor again is the Bruins as that's Wainwright. He's been a little quiet today, but he does get that layup to fall. Wainwright, right wing. Gets a screen, a very effective screen, in fact, from Greenville as he rolls off of that effective screen that he set and gets the acrobatic layup to fall despite the solid defense from Floyd Zubek. Reversal inside. David Giles turns around and in double coverage does get the tough layup to fall as he's got 17 now. Easily on Singleton. I started to notice that some of the underclassmen starting to get some clutch minutes like easily Gene Schofield still out here. No Shaquille Hammond on the floor right now which is very surprising as Kai Drayton jab steps. Sends it over to Clint Singleton as that's a good closeout by the freshman. 
Dwight Easley as he also tries to take it all the way back up the other end and he does successfully. Easley not really shooting well but basically in every other category he has played a very solid game. He's marked in every category and the shooting numbers don't bother me at all as he's played a very well-rounded game. One freshman to another as Easley gives the ball to Saunders as he receives a screen. He's at the elbow, gives it back to Dwight Easley who's setting up the offense. Joey Ballard on the right wing gives it to Lloyd Zubek. Drop steps and that's an and one. In his first collegiate start, he has been very impressive. Floyd Zubek will try to extend the lead to four with his free throw and that's good. A pull up J from mid range as Wainwright gets the friendly roll. Cutting the lead to two. Dwight easily drives baseline. Almost gets the A1, but the foul on Keontae Grant. We will try to extend the lead to two possessions as he makes the first free throw. That one's no good, but Void Zubek on the offensive glass again puts it in. Extends our lead to five. We are now two and a half minutes away from Coach Carter's first collegiate win if we can hold on to this lead. Wayne Wright kicks it out to an open. Greenville could not finish but a very clutch rebound indeed from Vince Pichel as he has played a dominant role in the glass for the Belmont Bruins. 56 to 59, two minutes left. Bringing up the ball, gives it up to Shaquille Hammond who nobody accounts for. Another and one for our Skyhawks. Shaquille Hammond very clutch this game. Cannot get the and one to fall however as it's still a five point deficit for the Belmont Bruins. Now it's down to three as Dwight Easley, six seconds left on the clock getting pressure at the top of the key. But he panics and turns it over, trying to find Hammond. Now here's Keontae Grant, one-on-one, -on -one, who's fouled by Saunders. Most likely we'll have to get our upperclassmen back in the game as that is a big freshman mistake there. Keontae Grant averaging four points, two assists on the air. As Rafael Flowers is hurt, he normally starts. But Keontae Grant has played a very solid roll here. We're leaving for Rafael Flowers as he makes both. One point game as Saunders cannot make the three. However, it is a rebound from Hammond, but Joey Ballard misses the gimme. One point game. A basket here can take the lead for the Belmont Bruins. 46 seconds. Gives it over to Greenville, and that's good. Eight assists on the day for Keontae Grant as he crosses over, gives it to Greenville, who uses the glass. Our Skyhawks no longer in the driver's seat as they find themselves down with 40 seconds to go as D. Cartwright checks into the game. Cartwright giving it to him and who looks like he wants the isolation. He's backing down Greenville. This is a definite mismatch. Drop step, pump fake from 8 feet and that's good. Hammond back to being our go-to player this game as it's a one-point game. We now have the lead. 20 seconds left. Keontae Grant. On the outside, closely guarded by D. Cartwright. Grant at the controls. Surveys the floor, gives it left wing. Clint Singleton, the senior from Memphis with 23 points, gives these Belmont Bruins the lead. No timeouts left for Coach Carter. D. Cartwright to the left wing. David Giles, jab steps for three. That's good, that's good. UT Martin has beaten the Belmont Bruins off of a game winner from David Giles. How about that, Coach Carter's First collegiate win, a game winning three pointer on our home court. It's a little hard to hear in here right now as the Skyhawk Nation that has come out and supported this team despite the troubles in the past. They are on their feet, they are rocking, they are having a great time out here in our home opener. Despite the breakout game for Clint Singleton, the real MVP of this game was David Giles. Despite averaging only 7.5 points a game, he puts up 20 and has the game of his life with a game-winning three. But like any good coach will tell you, you still got to look forward. No matter a win, loss, anything, we look forward, and that includes recruiting. As Judd Baldwin, we are in a tight contest with him. We are keeping pace with Indiana State. Luke Lawton's pretty much tied up. We're the only team to offer him a scholarship so far. We're probably going to abandon our efforts for Drake McMillan as our rivals... Tennessee State, they seem to have locked him up. 
Reggie Harrison, also a similar situation as Alcorn State. They're pretty much uh, a lock to get him too. And another guy added, Lawrence Padilla, similar situation. Arkansas Pine Bluff, looks like they're going to snag him. And P.J. Chapman, who is being pursued right now with by Purdue and DePaul. We just can't you know, compete with those types of schools. David Phelps, the guy I have my eyes on for next year's recruited class. Got plenty of time to uh, gain some ground on him, excuse me. And also Sean St. Clair, another point guard. We'll probably choose one of them. We still need to get some game tape for each of them. Still need to see what they can do through the scouting. We also have Marcus Kalins on our recruiting board for next year as well. If we're not impressed though with his uh, stats, we're probably just going to remove him from the board as we're not, you know, very high on him so far. But here's Christopher Fay, another guy added for this year in case, you know, McMillan didn't work out and it doesn't look like he's going to. So, six foot ten, Christopher Fay from Senegal, another overseas guy. Nobody's going after him, so we're definitely going to try to snag him up. I'll give you an update once we learn some more about his stats. Northwestern State and Tennessee on the uh, schedule for us this week. I'll probably group those two games together in the next video. Tennessee has been hit with the upset bug as they already have four losses, three to unranked teams. They do have a very strong uh, squad, though, as that's probably going to be a tough loss for us by a wide margin now. Northwestern State, despite having one of the top scorers in the nation and Dorenzo Bolton, they have been hit with the injury. It may be a winnable game as three guys on the roster are day-to-day -day and one is out for potentially the whole season. Stay tuned.